What up, family? Cost you nothing to hit that like button, fam. BG. Boosie. If you went behind the ears and don't recall, before Boosie went in on his murder charges, you know, BG went down to Baton Rouge to chill with him, right? They had a relationship like brothers, and they still do to this day. Now, it's a lot going on in the hip-hop community right now uh, when it comes to beefs, when it comes to deaths, when it comes to overdoses. Like, it's, it's a big circle of violent, you know, things going on right now. And when it comes to the music, you know, the, 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 the females is running the game right now. It's like the fellas pretty much focus on the beef, right? Now, we all know before we get into details that where that beef can lead. And this situation concerning Boosie and Rallo can lead to one of them situations. Rallo have even um, spoke on it, found that it can get out of hand by him and Boosie both being, you know, in Atlanta. And I can see it getting out of hand because it's dealing with street politics, paperwork, all these different type things. Now, I didn't expect BG. Well, let me take that back. Because when BG came home, he was wide open with the disrespect, you know, saying how he feel about certain situations. And he continued to speak out. He continued to speak out about things that he feel he learned in social media and different ways to play the game now. And he went on his live in defense of Boosie with Rollo. Now, Rollo was saying that Boosie is too old, 40. He don't want to be 40, 50, still, you know, rapping. He'd rather be a boss, CEO status. And BG went on his live and was saying that, you know, 40 years, you know, being 40 is, is it, individuals just getting started. They happy that they fought it because what they have been through and seen, you know, a lot of people don't make it, you know, to see their age. Referring to Rallo speaking on Boosie being 40. BG um, went on to say, fam, that individuals, you know, got the game backwards. You dig what I'm saying? Meaning speaking on um the situation with Boosie and performing still at 40 years old. And he pretty much saying that, hey, you got classic records. You know, you never too old with what BG saying and they going to make it, you know, happen. Now, everybody know that this is a clear shot. Rollo in response to Boosie. Because BG and Boosie, like brothers, they got Louisiana ties. And all that. Now, when I seen this live, I said, here we go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it don't be nothing but be a, a domino effect of individuals choosing sides. So now when it comes to BG going to Atlanta, dealing with certain people, it's not going to happen. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? With certain people because they rock with Rollo. And now they have seen what you have said and the selective politics that what it be. They say you, you got to stay over there, right? Now, this beef, you know, everybody be thinking that it's a game. Even when it come to the, the, the Dolph Gotti situation, the Tupac biggest situation, even when individuals get shot before they get killed, people still tend to think that it's a game. I'm here to tell you, fam, if this situation with Rollo, people are involving themselves, they choose the sides on it, these is two heavy hitters in the hip-hop community that got people around them that love them. Boosie is not going, and his people that's around Boosie is not going. But the amount of people that Rollo have fed in Atlanta, with Boosie being in Atlanta, is in peril. 
Because these type dudes would see Boosie or his people in traffic and would try to get uh, scrapes. You know what I'm saying? To get um, in a good eye grade with Rollo. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? And that's how situations happen. What I salute about Rollo, you feel me, is that when he spoke on this situation with Boosie, he was saying that, hey, we can meet up and I can show you my paperwork. You know, we can we can we, we can talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Like me. Right now. Boosie, on the other hand, you know, he didn't respond to that part of the game. So I'm thinking Boosie is standing on what he's standing on and don't want to have a conversation with Rallo like he had a conversation with T.I. The thing about the screech is it make you look more harder and smarter, <laughs> so to speak, when you're speaking on um, individuals that have rat. So people tend to look at you in a, in, in a, a boss type, gangster type um, light. When you speak these type of things, and especially being a rapper when it comes to social media, because they know this is what the fans want to see, how real you is. Is you really about what you're talking about, right? And you can get so caught up in that, just like the streets, to where you really forget the real money because you're on the gangsterism. It's the same in the hip hop. You forget the real money because you're on the gangsterism. Boosie should be doing most CEO things. I agree with Rallo with what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm 40 years old myself. And I, if I came in the game at Boosie age, homie, not saying that I still won't do shows, but that would not be my main source of income. I would have multiple businesses, fam, other than just rap. That's what Rallo was talking about when it comes to Boosie's um, situation. Being 40 and 50 years old, still rapping and just depending on the rap bag. The hustle found, well, I don't want to say the hustle, but the business side of the game, the hip-hop game, a lot of individuals don't have, they can just rap. They not good CEOs. You know what I'm saying? They can't make good business deal. I'm not saying that they bad people. You know, Boosie just standing on what he can do, what he good at. But it's a different time from when Boosie came in the game and we was growing up. And it, I mean, the youth right now is really taking on to that. They talking about stuff that they did two weeks ago. Man. They driven. Knocking the ops off. I understand and, and to uh, I'm not totally putting all this on Boosie. I mean, it's a culture of this going on. You feel what I'm saying? But Boosie name carry weight. We want to see more from Boosie other than just the rap and the talk, fam. What are you doing for the community? You dig what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about the community at your house. What are you doing for the community, fam? But I will keep y'all updated on situations. But make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.